but then on the side of the ball played against Cincinnati, I know what they bring to the table. It's not like you can just sit there and think that, oh my gosh, the Cincinnati is no is no big worry. No, it's always a worry. It's always tough, always physical. It's always uh, you got to bring your best, and it's always gonna come down to that last and final play. And I know what it takes to be a Bengal. Because you know you got to represent not only the name on your back, but also the team in the front. And uh, and there's just no no better joy in doing that on every Sunday. Oh wow, my journey 10 years ago, right? <laughs> just gonna take it one day, one one snap, and one opportunity at a time. Or make that one play, one catch, one interception. To make that one play, you know, six days, then five, four, three, two. It's about one day at a time. Right now, only thing we got to worry about is today. Yeah, we faced a ton of adversity, but you can still see guys fighting tooth and nail, willing to fight and go out there and fight adversity. The journey has been crazy for me. Uh, like I said, I was undrafted, so it was a lot. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, my first three years in Baltimore, it was, it was crazy, it was tough, and uh, just trying to, you know, figure out where I can do in this league uh, and where I fit in to, you know, try to be, get on the field as early as possible so I can, you know, hopefully carry on a career longer than three years to average in this game. You take your work serious, you take it personal, like I do each and every moment I'm out there on the field, and like my resume is on my back. It all is all gonna go to, in, in the way it's supposed to go. Uh, being here has just been such an amazing uh, part of the journey I've been in. What's, what's my nickname? <laughs> oh, Coach Mike. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they the guys like calling me that. <laughs> he's he's like a walking football library. He's he's so smart. He is the smartest player I've ever been around personally. He knows so much football. It's Josh Bynes right here. They're gonna try to get cute with this motion to see if it will affect Bynes, but he does not take the eye candy. Reads his keys and is right there in the hole for a huge stop. He knows why, you know, the offense wants to do this this way or how we should respond to playing it. There's a reason why he's been in the league for so long and he's played with a lot of guys and a lot of systems and learned a lot of football. So um, he's about as smart as they come. I've been around this game for a long time, so I've seen a lot of formations and seen a lot of things. So uh, I just try to, when I go on the field, I try to slow it down for myself and even for the players around me. So I get them to play fast and make plays because at the end of the day, this game is about um, all 11 of us. It's not about just me harboring and uh, harboring all this information in and just being selfish with it. Why not pour it out for other guys and other players? And that's just uh, where I come from and, and that's just what's been built since day one for me. It's always about everybody else around me. At the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I just love this game. You just play this game uh, because you love it and that's all I care about. I care about the guys. I love the guys in the locker room. Don't get me wrong, love the grind because you got to get prepared for camp and stuff like that. But I do all that to get through to play the game on Sunday because that's the one day that no matter all the coaching and no matter all the this and all the that, it don't matter. Now it's time to go out there and play and put out your resume and put out who you are.